welcome back. Thousands of stone tombs in Marib, which are part of Yemen's rich heritage, face the risk of being lost and depleted due to the government neglect. More on this story is in this report. When it comes to historical monuments and archaeological sites, Yemen may be one of the world's wealthiest nations. Due to their construction techniques and distinctive designs, the monuments in Ma'rib Governorate have withstood the test of time, neglect, and corrosion, despite being thousands of years old. These stone tombs were erected thousands of years ago, fashioned in the form of circular towers using flat stones. They date back to the end of the 4th millennium BC, that is 5,000 years ago. According to a French study conducted in the year 2000, these graves indicate that mankind has traversed the Ma'rib Desert since ancient times. The stone tombs extend over the Ruwait mountain range and the Sabatain Desert, and they can be traced back to the Bronze Age. These tombs are unique for the way they appear during sunset, comprising an integral part of the World Heritage List. Seven archaeological sites make up the landmarks of the ancient kingdom of Sabat Ma'rib, a series property that documents the wealthy kingdom of Sabat's achievements in architecture, arts, and technology from the first millennium BCE to the arrival of Islam in the year 630 CE. These monuments are magnificent inherited from past generations. Today, we witness the pilfering and destruction of these grand structures amid government neglect. We call upon relevant authorities and government officials to direct sufficient attention to these vital sites. In January, the World Heritage Committee used an emergency procedure to inscribe the landmarks of the ancient kingdom of Sabat Ma'rib on the list of world heritage in danger due to threats of destruction from the ongoing conflict.